our first conference uh, that ASPO USA held was here in Denver in 2005. And at that point, we initiated the Hubbard Awards uh, for excellence in energy education. And Al Bartlett was uh, one of the first four winners at, the, at that first conference. Um, I, uh, and when I introduced him, the last line I gave was that uh, Randy, one that Randy Udall uh, used, which was quite simply, Al is a saint. And, and, I, and I hope you all appreciate uh, that sentiment as I do. Al, let's, let's, let's jump into it. Um, when did you figure out that our society was headed towards a serious set of resource-related problems? We'd run up the lakes and get 10,000 tons of this rich Mesabi iron ore and go down through it in a blast furnace in Buffalo, New York, run up and get some more and back and forth. And I used to wonder, will we ever run out of this stuff? I can remember saying to myself, look, Al, you're just a dishwasher. There are smart people in Washington. <laughs> if there's any problem of our running out, they will alert us. <laughs> and I'm ashamed to say how many years it was before I realized that that ain't true that they will not alert us, and that we'll just go on with this growth forever. And it was back in 1959 that uh, there was a great interest in the environment on the campus, and I had gradually come to realize that people didn't understand the arithmetic of steady growth. If you had something growing 5% per year for 50 years, how much larger would it be than when it started. And so I put together some notes, and my first talk was in September of 69 to the pre-medical honor students in the Boulder campus, and uh, fortunately I kept my notes, and uh, uh, it's it sort of gone from there. And I enlarged it to uh, talk more about resources and so on. I became aware of the work of Dr. Hubbard, had the good fortune to meet him and uh, talk with him, and uh, uh, he called me on the phone several times, and we discussed things. So uh, it, it, I was a late bloomer. It, it, I never it didn't get started soon enough. Okay. Um, on that point about uh, D.C. not knowing, uh, here, here's a line from uh, Will Rogers that uh, I guess would ring true. You might want to keep this one. So much of what we know just ain't true. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's a good Will Rogers quote. And he said, when, when the Congress is in session, hold on to your pocketbooks. That's right. You, you first did research and talking on this in, in, I guess, in the 60s, and first talk was, what, 1969 on this? 50, 69. I 69. may have said it wrong. It was 1969. Did, did, you, did you first write articles about it, or the, the article? The or did you did, did you do the, the, the research for the talks first? Kind of interested in that sequence. Well, it just grew. Uh, first start with a talk with the arithmetic. Then I realized after giving it a few times that I ought to write this up for the physics teaching journal. And so I started writing a series uh, uh, that appeared irregularly in that journal. And uh, that, uh, I think, went through a, ultimately 10 or 11 uh, articles. Then I realized, well, you know, I really ought to put it, this is going pretty slowly to, to write up every aspect of this. So I uh, decided I would try to put it all together in terms of a, a, uh, a single article. And uh, there was a, an energy conference at the University of Missouri in Rolla. And so I uh, submitted a, a paper for that conference and gave it there. And uh, that was the first time that it appeared uh, under the title of uh, Forgotten Fundamentals of the Energy Crisis. And then I wrote it up and expanded it some, and it appeared in the American Journal of Physics in 1978 in the, uh, as a full article. And that's been uh, reprinted many times. And uh, by that time, the lecturing thing was just going gangbusters.